Hey there, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brittany Bundles and today's video is going to be an update on my DIY micro locks. I've had these DIY micro locks in for approximately two months. So it's my two month update. I don't have them hanging down today because it's super hot. Um, and I was gonna wait until I got home to film the video, but I decided to do it right now in the car because I don't know if I'm gonna be able to or not um, with my baby. If you watch my first, one of my first micro lock update videos that you saw um, how active my baby wanted to be in the video. <laughs> so um, I'm just joking, she's a baby. So she, she may not have been quiet. You know, that's what I'm kind of thinking when I get home, thinking that she's gonna wanna play and that's completely fine. So I'm like, let me go ahead and record the video now. So uh, without further ado, if you're interested in my two month uh, DIY micro lock update, be sure to give the video a thumbs up. Please make sure that you are subscribed and let's get right into it. So the first thing that I wanna mention is um, the test locks that I had in the back of my, or that I have in the back of my head, the 10. They, I really like how they look. They have matured, they're a lot, I don't want to say a lot bigger, but they are bigger and more dense than they were initially. Um, when I first got them in, they were very like lightweight and very skinny, and I can see that they are maturing now. So I really like that. Um, the only thing is because they're maturing and they are interlocked instead of twisted, they hang differently. So I have like the, the test locks in the, in the back of my head when I'm having my hair hanging down, they hang. A little bit awkwardly like they have always been a little bit they, they all they've always looked different than my twist but I guess now it's starting to bother me a little bit so I showed in one of my vlogs how I banded the end of my like how I banded the test locks so that they could um, look like you know my hair could look the same length when I have them hanging down instead of the rest of my hair being the same length and then the 10 test locks being longer you know and it's just that patch that's long longer than the rest of my hair so i've been i found a way to twist those and band those up to blend those in with my styles uh, whenever i'm having my hair hanging down also i have been sticking to my regimen of washing my hair every week i braid and band my hair um i did find some locks that were never interlocked so I went back I actually found those when I was doing another vlog so I went back on the blog and I actually interlocked those that were about like four um, I can notice that I feel like my hair um, especially at the roots is getting um, like the texture feels different they don't feel I feel my hair feels more dry than it used to feel which is good for me because I don't want my hair to feel completely dry but I wanted it to dry out um, to an extent so that my hair could start locking um, and I feel like it's doing a really good job with doing that I was really concerned about how long it would take when I got my test locks in when I was initially looking into getting sister locks I was told that it would probably take about six months for my hair to lock and that may be the case too but I can tell that my hair um, is starting to it's starting to um, dry out a little bit and lock as well um, what else do I want to mention? Um, itching. I did experience itching last month. Um, now that I'm in my second month, I don't really experience itching. I don't know if it's just because I'm used to um, having the micro locks in. I don't know if it's because my, um, you know, I'm washing my hair and getting to my scalp better now. I don't know, but I don't really experience any itching. Um, I do still use baby shampoo. And again, like I mentioned, I braid and band. I have noticed that my hair is attracting more length. So like, whereas, so if I lay like on a bed or my pillows or a cover that is like shaggy material or like furry, I do notice some of the lint being locked, like getting caught in my hair. So I try to, you know, hit my hair and take the lint out, but there is one lock where the lint is actually stuck in it and I've tried to pull it apart and I think I'm just damaging the lock, so I left it alone. Um, but I'm, I'm going to start being a lot more cautious of where I lay my hair um, or lay my head and where my, what my hair is touching because I don't want a whole bunch of lint in my hair, but it, it, my, my hair is attracting a lot more lint than it used to before it was locked. Um, what else do I want to say? And then even if it did, if I had some lint in my hair before it was locked, I can just brush it out. Whereas now it's like, 
if you don't catch it in time, it can really like it, it's like intertwined with the lock. Um, I don't use any products still. I haven't put any oil on my hair. Um, I am still liking the fact that I decided to go ahead and get my hair locked. Um, I wear different styles. So a lot of times I wake up and I'll just spray water. Um, the water that I spray is distilled water. I'll spray distilled water on my hair and I'll wear it hanging down or I'll do like a quick updo. Like for example, today I have three ponytails. You really can't see it because I'm driving right now and um, I'm not gonna be able to, to show you all the, the full hairstyle, but I have three buns kind of like a mo in a mohawk style and um, I'll do some quick updos or quick styles after I spray it with water and it doesn't take too long at all um, I really like the convenience of being able to kind of get up and go with my hair without having to worry about putting gel on it or you know what the weather is because with my hair I think with a lot of people's hair too when I would do my hair and they leave out the out the house I would be conscious of if it's raining because I would be like man you know do I want to straighten my hair if it's going to rain because my hair is going to you know draw back up and there'll be days that it was really humid and I'll be like well do I want to wear my hair hanging down and I know that it's not going to look like this at the end of the day it's going to be more poofy so with my locks I don't have those thoughts or those concerns because no matter what the weather is my hair is okay um, I really really like that about them also um, at night all I do is take whatever ponytail holder I have in my hair out if I have something in my hair and then I'll just put my bonnet on and I go to sleep um, my bonnet has been coming off more um, in the beginning if it, it was staying on a lot more than it is now I don't know if it's because I'm sleeping differently now or I don't know so I am gonna look into getting a different type of bonnet um, that protects my hair while I'm sleeping so that I don't wake up and then find my head, you know, on my pillow and then have lint from my pillow in my hair. Um, people's responses. I wanted to touch on that too. Um, in the beginning, I did get good responses from family and friends, some of them, um, about locking my hair. Some of them not so good responses, but we're not gonna really focus on those. Um, but I can say now I am starting to get more feedback from people that are not related to me. Um, I've gotten compliments before um, on my hair from people that weren't related to me either when I first um, decided to do the test locks, like even before I did my inner first interlocking. But now I'm getting a lot more compliments. People saying that they like my hair, um, asking me what I have you know what what these are and things like that um I can let you know all know that I washed my hair yesterday so um, I am going to be retightening my hair uh in about two weeks so I'll start that process again which I'm not looking forward to that is really the only that's my biggest con right now just having to retighten my hair um I would go to someplace else somebody else and I may it's just you have to go through that whole process of doing the consultation and then going back and booking the appointment and then their appointment they may not be able to get done the same day so it's just not saying that it's not I mean I'm sure once I actually get in and get my hair done I'll be grateful that I, I won't have to do it and it will save me more time it's just I don't know I found it I, I'm just gonna try to give it I was gonna say I found it more easy to kind of do it on my schedule but I'm gonna give it I think another time of retightening and see how everything goes now i can say that i made some mistakes with my first retightening that i couldn't see before but i can see now some of the, the um, locks had holes in them and all i did was watch a youtube video and watch how to repair the holes which were really simple um i do need a smaller needle to repair some of the holes but it was very simple you just i really can't i, can't, I mean i would love to demonstrate it but i can't really explain it um you know as good as I can demonstrate it but pretty much you just take your needle and you put it through both sides of the hole and your hair pulls through and closes up that hole and you do it as for as many times as you need to um, so I'm learning to all the, the concerns that I had with doing the DIY like the DIY micro locks on my own interlocking my hair I'm learning that there are workarounds and there's ways to fix mistakes um, not saying that I'm you know looking forward to finding ways to fix mistakes because i really don't want to make any mistakes but just being honest there you know could be some mistakes even if you go and get your hair professionally done and i just 
find it really comforting to know that I'm not the only person that experienced like holes in my um, when I interlocked or you know like a mistake and there's ways on how to correct your mistakes there's so many so, so many videos on YouTube and so much information out there um, however you know I would prefer to go I mean I don't know I, I some days I really want to go to a professional and some days I just want to be on my own schedule and kind of you know be in charge of doing my own hair so I guess I can rotate those options with whatever makes sense and works best for me it is really hot in the car because I'm turning my my air off and I don't have my windows rolled up so that I can give you all the best sound quality so I'm gonna wrap this video up really soon I'm trying to think if there's anything else um, I don't really think there's anything else starting to get really hot that I want to mention um, besides me fixing the holes what else other than that everything has been really well um, I'm not noticing a lot of frizz I mean I do have some frizz but I don't have nearly as much frizz as I thought I would have I used to do twists a lot before I got my DIY micro locks and so um, with the twist I would have a lot of frizz so I was really concerned that when I did this style that I would experience a lot of frizz with this style too don't get me wrong I do have frizz but it's just not on the level that I thought I would have the frizz on um, it definitely is manageable. What I do to combat the frizz is really nothing. I'll spray water and then when I spray water, my hair, like the hairs that are up, they kind of curl up. And so it doesn't look really like a lot of frizz, if that makes sense. Like it kind of curls into the style. Um, I think that my hair would probably get more, um, what do I want to say, more weight and um, become a lot more dense probably at like that five six month six month mark like the um sister lock consultant advised me initially i can also state that with my test locks i noticed that the ends are co coiling up very tightly also with the uh, diy micro locks my ends are co coiling up really tight too not super super tight but i can tell the difference versus when i first did the DIY micro locks how the twists were more loose like the hair at the end looked more loose formed than now like now I can like some of them are actually locking together that you know the twist so it's really hard to even take twists down um, I have taken some twists down um, halfway up because I've noticed unraveling that is something I want to touch on unraveling I do experience um, I've noticed some of the twists unraveling up to the point of the interlock and what I do is I just take those two strands that I can because they're they unravel with like two strands that you can see so I just take those and I twist them back up and I go on about my business I thought at this point I wouldn't have any more unraveling but I did watch some videos and people experience that even after their two months of having their their micro lock so um, I guess is something that people experience. I guess it's not too far, you know, unheard of or uncommon. Um, so I do have unraveling, not a lot, but some of them are unraveling. There is one baby lock in the back that I had to redo, retwist because it came out. Um, but all the locks, all the other locks have been really good. I haven't had to retwist any like around my perimeter or anything like that. Um, so I'm really pleased with how everything is going. I don't notice a lot of huge differences. I still can notice like, um, you know, the the hairs, like I said, like the twist getting a lot more tighter and defined and locking. And, um, you know, there's some things that I can notice, but I'm just showing you kind of what they look like. I don't have a ton of new growth. I'm gonna be retwisting my hair again or retightening my hair again in like um, two weeks. This spot right here, I've had this spot for a long time. I didn't put any twist there. So that's that. Um, trying to show you my twist up close. So I'm at this light. My hair just feels a lot more dry like it doesn't feel dry but it just doesn't feel as soft and um, moisturized as it used to feel which is fine with me so I'm hoping that you all can kind of see my style 
kind of see what it looks like see how the micro locks are doing um i really like them a lot and i think that um, in about six months i'm going to be really pleased with how they have matured and i really just want them i mean i'm enjoying my journey but I, i'm not gonna lie i do kind of want to be like at the point where my hair is hanging without like hanging with weight because even now like sometimes when my hair is hanging down it depends on the day <laughs> sometimes i can get it where it looks like how i want it to look and then sometimes it's still light where you know if the wind blows or, or something happens it doesn't give me that full look that i'm looking for um and i just believe that it'll hang better once it has more weight so i'm just wanting to get to that six month mark really really bad um i can't really think of anything else to add if you all have any questions feel free to leave them down below um I'm trying to just week recap in my head to see if there's anything i missed but i don't think there is i do want to thank you all for watching and i will see you all in the next video bye